Hello and welcome to the Billie Jean King National Tennis Centre, home of the biggest tennis stadium in the world. Well, it's a blustery night here at Bramall Lane, a real nip in the air, as you'd expect on a December evening up north. I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by two men with an illustrious Newcastle career behind them, Jermaine Genus, Les Ferdinand. I've said this on air once this week already, you're sort of starring in your own tennis version of The Bachelor, Andy. <laughs> A quick word on Liverpool, so impressive. Again, bookies are paying out yeah. already on them winning the league. Is that ridiculous? No, <laughs> I don't think it is ridiculous. Victoria Azarenka or Kiki Mladenovic? I also asked one of them and got turned down. Oh, you, <laughs> that was another. You, you've got to I tell know. me which one. It, that was Mladenovic. I'm going into the future, but um. Like this was planned, folks. Uh, this is not something that's gone wrong. They do stage a light show here before the uh, games at Bramall Lane. That's our cue, I think, to take a break. We'll be back with kickoff here at Bramall Lane, Sheffield United, Newcastle, in just a moment. Elise, my heart goes out to you. It's the joy and despair of sport, isn't it? Talk to me about how you're feeling just now. When it's something you've worked so hard for and for someone to just knock you over and it be over like that, you know, it's, it just seems so unfair, but... It's been such a good US Open so far. There's kind of a perfect recipe for the first week of Islam, isn't it? The right number of upsets, the right number of seeds getting through, and it feels like that's where we're at just now. Are you enjoying the job? It comes yeah. with, I mean, it's, it's a very unique, particular job, isn't it? It comes with a lot I, uh, of pressure. Are you able to enjoy it? I said to Jermaine a couple of weeks ago when I bumped into him was, I, um, I was determined to try and enjoy it. What about a Williams sister? They're not too shabby. Yeah, I'd be up for that. I mean, they're both... <laughs> They're both brilliant. Bit of breaking news for you before we turn our attention back to Bramall Lane, that is the unsurprising news that Marco Silva has been sacked as Everton manager. You know, when you're in the game and like everybody else, you kind of know when these moments are coming and they're not nice moments. I've got to ask you about January. If no one else is going to, I've got to ask you about January. Were there any targets, any any players that you're oh. particularly looking to keep hold of that might have interest I'm looking shown for, in them? I'm looking for uh, the next game that is Saturday, and so we don't have time. We don't have a lot of time to recover. Not giving us anything there on January, no, is he? No, no, he's not going to give us anything. It's a similar storyline as what we saw tonight. It is experienced Rafael Nadal going for a 19th Grand Slam and Daniil Medvedev going for a first. I'm going to cut to the chase against John. What's going to happen? Well, I thought Serena was going to pull that out today. To everybody that's been in the team this week at the Queen's Club for Prime Video, it's been an absolute pleasure. We hope you've enjoyed it at home and we'll see you soon.